Right, today this is going to be a very quick video on how you can protect your hard drives from overheating in this heat. Now, over here, this is my laptop. It's currently chewing away, exporting a, um, a video that I've got on the go. That's not the subject of the video, though. Mind this microphone out of the way. What I've got is, these are my external hard drives. I have four of them. Uh, this one's just got personal stuff on. Uh, these two have YouTube stuff on and the bottom one's just a backup for when these two get full. You can see by the blinking light, it's exporting at the moment, so that hard drive is working and this one's been working as well, it's not doing anything at the moment. Problem I've got is, whilst they're in use, they get hot and with the heat at the moment, with them coming through, you know, and the sun coming through the window, they are really hot, as in you can't hold your fingers on them for too long which is less than ideal now do I think they're gonna stop working no is it good for the longevity of them also no so we're just gonna do a quick and dirty thing I'm not gonna call it a life hack or anything stupid like that yeah just a quick and dirty fix to help keep them protected from the Sun and keep them cool I could put them elsewhere but I don't really have any space for them I chose the windowsill because they're up and out of the way and uh, yeah I mean I could put them say like on the desk but I don't really have space on the desk as you can see the desk is pretty full as it is and I could put them down there but then I've just got wires everywhere Ugh. they have to be there it's the only place I can really put them so yeah we're just gonna do something quick to um yeah to protect them so you are going to need one cardboard box, one pair of scissors, some tin foil, and where is it? That's, uh, ah, there it is. Hello, Archer. Some cellar tape. Let's get on with it. Right now, I apologise if the fan is making too much noise. Not all I can do about it. It's hot. I'm not turning it off. So all I'm going to do is cut these top bits of the box off. This was going in the recycling anyway, was this box. I found another use for it. Now for that. Next one. Right. Put that to one side. Now I get the feeling this, the small leaves, actually going to be just the perfect size for what I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making basically a heat shield to go between the hard drives and the window. To do that we're going to get our tin foil. Tin foil has a dull side and a shiny side. I don't know what's happened to this, why it has that sort of mark on it. It must have touched up against something hot. Yeah. That will just roll out a section like that and we'll, we'll wrap it up we'll double it up shall it because why not and rip it off doesn't have to be too neat and tip it on Shield, show you where that goes. All right, so move that out of the way. I'm just going to pull them away from the windowsill slightly. My god, they're actually really hot. I'm just going to slot that in there. There we go. That will reflect the sun's rays. What I might do is put it there actually, just put it, tape it up in the windowsill. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Let's do that. There we go, single piece of tape. That'll keep that in place. That's going to reflect the sun's rays away. Make sure it's in the right location. There we go. It's not elegant, it's not pretty. It's also not permanent. I do have plans on something a little bit nicer for these hard drives. But that can be a winter project. I'm trying to do as much outdoor stuff at the moment as I can. 
uh, whilst we've got a nice summer. Although today, ironically, it's a bit too hot. But never mind. Right, next bit. Don't actually need tin foil for this next bit. I'm just going to take one of these and cut it along that line. There we are. Right, and they can be little heat dividers for our hard drives. I'll show you what I mean. So you'll notice this bottom drive has little rubber feet on it. So it's not quite all the way down. And this top one has the same. So it's not actually touching, it's resting on its little feet. These ones though, don't. They did come with like little stands so they would stand upright. Um, so I could have had them all in a row, but I don't know where those stands have gone. They're just sort of lost to time, which probably isn't helping them dissipate their heat very well. So yeah, what we're gonna do is just slide this, oh, if it'll go, in there, like that. Now, it won't necessarily help with airflow, but say this one is running at the moment and generating heat, and it will help stop it transmitting that heat through to this one as well, because those two are probably just heating each other up. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll get the next one in under this. Go on, there you go. There you have it. Cost me nothing but about five minutes of my time. And there you go, that should, hopefully, protect my hard drives in this heat. At least I can, until I can find a more permanent and elegant solution. So yeah, thank you for watching. Right, it's been all of five minutes. The hard drives still feel the same, but they're still working. They'll take a lot longer to cool down. But this thing already feels really warm to the touch. Now, it's not touching the hard drives. It's not going to transmit that heat to them. But at least I know it's doing its job. It's keeping that heat away from my precious electronics. Which is what we want. But yeah, that's already really warm to the touch. So yeah, quick and dirty. Ugly as sin. But it's obviously working. Just one more thing that I thought I'd include as I'm um, putting the edit together on this video. The one for my hard drives worked pretty well actually. Now, it's dark now, so you can't tell, but yeah, I was checking the temperature of them. I don't have a proper thermometer or anything like that for them, but they felt cooler to the touch, so I'd say that's that's working well. And I've since then done it another couple of times, so over here we have my jazzy webcam. Uh, I don't do an OnlyFans, don't even ask. Um, and yeah, that was getting really hot because the sun was on the back of it, so we have a tinfoil heat shield for that. And over here is where my router lives, and that was in direct sunlight as well at certain times of the day, so that's now got a, uh, a heat shield to go with it. So, yeah, I have three of them. I mean, they look quite untidy, but like I say, they're not permanent. They're just stopgap measures to stop all my shit getting burnt. Anyway, thank you for watching.